Our old machine is running on diesel. I'm using that and running a hydraulic system. Pretty inefficient process, but from a crushing perspective, allowed for a lot of torque and that crushing ability from historically built plants. Our older plant couldn't crush all of our product. Everything needed to be small and pre-crushed, whereas the, the R3 is able to take our raw materials without any pre-crush. It's, it's one bit of kit that can do the entire job. When we were looking for our new plant, one of our criteria is we were trying to go cleaner and greener. So our first criteria was to see if we could find an electric plant. And when we started to have a look, E2 was the obvious one. We did a bit of research and again, just become obvious, you know, this is, this is where we need to go. They got the gear, they got the research. Bert's proposal to me had a whole lot of data, data that was relevant to us. It had asphalt data about doing what we do. It just gives you a whole bunch of confidence about knowing what you're choosing is gonna actually work before you even start. So this is exactly the kind of innovation and sustainability in the transport system that we in government are really keen to encourage. So we just want to acknowledge Fulton Hogan and others in the sector who are working so hard to do this. We wouldn't be here without Equip2, our, um, our partners who have supplied the machine. We've worked pretty closely with them to get the right bit of gear and it's been a great partnership. We're not only recycling products through a sustainable practice, we're actually doing a sustainable practice at the same time to recycle it. So, Electricity instead of diesel, you know, big improvements, and it definitely puts us in the right um, direction for future plant and what we were doing long term. It's not just about ticking that green box on these machines because your cost per ton is actually reduced by these machines. So your economic increase for the plant and for the business is amazing. So you're not just buying a machine that's electric just to say that you're saving in emissions, but it's actually giving you more profit per ton. We started with a really old screening plant, moved to a, um, a crushing plant, which is now going to be relocated to a different site so they can move on to their next step in their journey. And we're moving on to a more sustainable approach, which moves away from diesel and utilizes um, electricity to run the actual crushing plant that we've got behind us now. It's about having a more sustainable transport system uh, where we actually use resource that we otherwise have. We have less waste and ultimately that's a more cost-efficient way of building and maintaining our roads as well. For us, the recycling is really big, like Fulton Hogan are doing roads, we're, we're digging up roads and replacing them again with our asphalt. The story started just when we mill the road out with just screening millings, and then they, they made wrap with that, and, and that was really successful, so they wanted more wrap and more wrap and more wrap, so we're needing to get better and, and needing bigger gear to make it better. But what it does is it just goes around and around, it's, a, it's, it's continuous, asphalt recycling isn't recycle it once and turn it into something else, it just goes round and round forever. Because having this machine, like I said, has allowed us to take out other machines as well. So it's it's hardly comparable, it's a, it's a massive drop. For Wayne and its team, it's gonna make a big difference. They used to spend a lot of time in their machines working six days a week to keep up with the demand. This is gonna allow them to start working on other things around the yard, so it makes a massive difference. The good thing about this plant is that we can move it around our yard and basically move it to where it's required, and that reduces the reliance on things like diesel loaders or diggers to move things around the yard. We can actually take the electric crusher to where it's needed. We've gone from the fuel truck coming in every three days our fuel truck will be coming in, we're thinking maybe once a week. But that's, a, that's a massive difference, just fuel alone. It's easier to maintain, it's much more reliable, um, reduces a lot of that uh, manual handling, even through the little process of changing a blow bar, it reduces that impact on our staff so they're not struggling to do their job and they can focus on important things, which is making quality product. It's really cool to see it coming in, exceeding all the stuff that we thought it was going to do and it's just not a problem you know so i think the whole innovation and sometimes resistance to it and resistance a new idea just crack on with it ring your experts talk to them up and just get on with it and to see it now grin from ear to ear this is an awesome awesome bit of kit <laughs>